Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today we are in my bedroom at my parents' place. Um, and I'm sorry if it's kind of loud. It sort of faces onto like the street. I'm like, my backyard is like not really a backyard. It's like a side yard. So anyways, I apologize if, it, apologize if it's loud. I've got headphones in, so hopefully that helps the noise situation a little bit but today we're going to talk about Aritzia clientele because the rumor mill slash like people are actually getting phone calls about it so um group one starts on the 6th I have no information of if this is for Canada or for the U.S. so when I do get a little bit more information I will pin that comment or put it in the description box Either way, um, I'll update you guys somehow. But right now, kind of loosely, I know that it's gonna start on the 6th um, for group one and group two. And I think um, group three and group four are either the 9th or the 10th, kind of around that. So group one and group two will have like first crack at it. And then groups three and four we'll get a little bit of a delayed access. It looks like from what everybody's saying, there are four groups this year and they're all based on the spending tiers, obviously. Um, I say obviously, but if you haven't seen anything about clientele or are unfamiliar for clientele, the way it works, it's a private sale that Aritzia hosts twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. The fall is always around Black Friday, so it's very easy to Plan for that it happens right before Black Friday and then the sale opens up to the general public for Black Friday pretty much every single year now like clockwork um, in the spring it's a little bit more iffy on when exactly it's gonna happen sometimes it coincides with um, Memorial Day sometimes it coincides with May 2-4 if you're not from Canada May 2-4 is like Victoria Day long weekend um, Memorial Day is the weekend after usually it's an American holiday and they usually line up with holidays but this year it's not this year it's gonna be starting on maybe Monday so we'll see um it obviously is a private sale so you have to spend a certain amount to be invited now there's a lot of speculation always on how much you have to spend and what spending equals what tiers are there even tiers as far as i know some people have said that there's like 10 tiers some people have said that there's only three some people say that there's no tiers it's all a very there's a lot of speculation because we've never received as a collective group we've never received a clear answer from aritzia and honestly there might not even be different access dates it could all just be this hype machine building speculation all of those sort of stuff because we've never ever gotten a clear answer and we're all just trying to like make sense of how it works but it kind of does appear like there is at least a group of people who spend more and a group of people who spend less because of the access dates. Now, that honestly could just be where your name is in the call list. I know sometimes I get an email like three or four days before. Sometimes I get a call before. Sometimes I don't even get a call until the sale has started, but I already have access to the sale, so I don't really care. But it just, it, it changes. Every year is different and it's kind of hard to pin that part down. But the way to ensure that you always get invited to clientele is to one, in store, when they ask you for an email or a phone number, say yes. And then if you shop online, use the same email that you used in store to sign up for an online profile. That way, all of your orders, all of your spending and everything is linked to one email and phone number. So the accumulation happens. If you shop in store, you will not see all of your purchases in your like online order section. It's not like Sephora where it's all integrated together. However, your in-store shopping and your online shopping count. Um, same with if you do the concierge trick where you get concierge to um, 
like order something for you from a store and have it shipped to you, just make sure that you're using it all under the same email because it all counts towards your clientele accumulation. Now, to be honest with you, I think I've said this so many times before, but there have been years where I feel like I've spent nothing and I still get invited to clientele. And then there have been years where I feel like I spend a lot and then I don't get a call until clientele already starts. So it's been very hit or miss for me. Clientele used to be one of those things where you just walked into the store one day and they handed you a card. And that was, that was it. But it, it has changed. It's become a lot more systematic and a lot more predictable but yeah um i wouldn't sweat exactly how much you spend just make sure you have an account make sure you have an email address on file and when you are shopping with them or online just make sure that you're logged into your account or everything is going to the same email address or the same phone number that way you have a history with them and you can go Another thing is you might not get an email or you might not get a phone call, but when you log into the store, either at midnight, the night, the day that the sale is supposed to start or during the day of the first day of the sale, if you have access to the sale, it will be there. And I say this every single year and people are like, how do I know? How do I know? And it's like, the easiest way to tell is when the sale starts or when it's supposed to start log in online and see if you have access to it that's what i actually honestly end up doing is the night before the sale starts i just check and usually if you do have access to the sale you will have the discounts showing and like a clientele enter shop now thing now clientele this year is rumored to be about 20 percent off and it's going to be 20 percent off the entire store with some exclusions the exclusions usually are Super Puff, if applicable, sometimes Super Puff is included. Um, any, like, sometimes the shoe companies aren't included, um, and then third party denim brands are sometimes not included. However, Levi's is pretty much always included, Citizens of Humanity are usually included, and A Goldie is usually included as well. It's, I think, I don't know if Kasubi, Kasubi, how, I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I don't know if they will be included, especially because they are newer to Aritzia. And then I don't, I think last year's Suki Coke was included, but then the sale before or after that it wasn't, something like that. So the brand by brand is going to change. They've also changed their discount format. It used to be some some brands were 10% off, some were 15, and some were 20, and then some would even go up to 40 or 50%. That has changed um, last year in December, or November, sorry, it was 15% off the entire store, I believe. And I think there was a little bit of, not backlash, I don't wanna call it backlash because it was just a bunch of people complaining about it, but I do think that people were expecting more of a discount because some years it used to be 30% off of some things. And to have, you know, to remember it being 30%, to have it drop to 15, granted things are more expensive, blah, 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 blah. Like there's so many reasons, but considering how infrequently Aritzia used to have sales, that 30% off was really good. So to have it return to at least 20%, maybe 25%, would be a nice change and a definitely I would I am happy with that. Um, I don't know exactly what brands are going to be what discount yet. You don't, as the consumer, we won't know that unless a SA tells us, um, a style advisor slash sales associate. But um, you can kind of assume that any in-house brand, so like TNA, Wilfred, Babton, Sunday Best, and like their other lines like that. Um, are probably going to be about 20% and then ex like outside brands are either discounted more or less um, and it just really depends on the year unfortunately. So it's kind of everything. You can shop clientele in store or online. There's no limit to how many times you can check out or it's not like you know one code whatever it's the whole store um while supplies last one thing is if you pre-order items during clientele if for whatever reason that order gets canceled you will have i think it's like 
I think it's 24 hours if I'm not mistaken, but you'll receive an email with the cancellation. And if you do still want that um, item or if you like want it ordered still, um, they will honor the price for you, which is something I really like. They will honor the sale price. They won't make you pay full price when it happens to that order. Um, I believe, I think last year I was told that on pre-order items that you have, you can get them price matched and somebody else said that they couldn't do that and someone said they could. So the price matched of existing pre-orders is not a guaranteed system. So I wouldn't trust that. I would instead, if you do have some pre-orders, if they are currently in stock, in store, in your size, I would place a order for that item on clientele and then cancel your other pre-order and i would say this if you can have both at the same time do that because then you always ensure that you get the item and like place the clientele one before you cancel so that you ensure that you at least have it coming in but that's it is what it is i don't know what else um clientele is only available in the canada in canada and the u.s at the moment i don't know what um the international site in terms of clientele looks like there's not a lot of information available to me but if anybody does know if it is available or what that looks like please let everybody else know because i'm curious myself but yeah so anyways um starts on jan 6th apparently i don't know if that's for canada or for the u.s or both i will let you guys know i'll keep you posted as we learn more if anybody else in canada or the u.s has gotten their calls and can tell me when they've gotten their start dates in the comments, please let me know. That will give us a good indicator of what's going on. Um, discount 20% off the entire store. Hopefully it's the rumor mill right now, but we'll know on the day. Um, twice a year, make sure that you have your account. Um, something if you guys, for instance, like if you um, have siblings or if you're mom, aunt, godmother, whoever um, also shops at Aritzia. Even your boyfriend, super puffs, those are a great, great way to rack up. Um, but you know what I mean, like if, if anybody else in your life shops at Aritzia, it doesn't have money, you know, um, and they are willing to share an account with you, that's a great way to qualify for clientele pretty consistently because to be honest, like, if both of you pick up a couple of pieces a year, then you double that spending effort and just increases your chances. But that's kind of everything you guys need to know. Um, I have a couple blog posts as well as a, another video about this if you wanna go and look at that. But the information is the same every single year, just the dates change and the discounts. But I hope that this was useful for you. I am super excited to see what everyone gets at clientele. I know that I am excited to pick up a couple pieces for my summer and for my upcoming trips this summer. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.